Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen and we have my cousin Reshma here. Hi guys. Um, today <laughs> we're going to talk about anxiety. I think all of us have like some sort of anxiety. Um, I know I for sure have had anxiety probably since I was like in junior high or high school just like dealing with school and not dealing with it well. I would just like go to sleep when I would be stressed <laughs> and then just like I failed a bunch in school and I would just be a rebel for no reason. When do you feel like you recognize that you have anxiety? Um, definitely within the past like couple years. Mm -hmm. Definitely when I had a lot more things going on in my life. Yeah. A lot of like stressful events. When yeah. Family events were going on. A lot of yeah. like I was in grad school and so there was like the stress of that as, mm -hmm. as well just going straight from undergrad. So I think it just kind of like added up at some point yeah. and I think it just felt like all these things were happening all at once I was trying to balance it all out and so I would get anxious for like future events. So it's like, oh, I had to get a paper done, but like I haven't worked on it because I have family things going on in the week. Right. I think it's just like this thing of like being so overwhelmed with like things you can't even control or just, or things you can control. And then like for me, I just like, it's so in my thoughts that I'm not doing anything. Exactly. Right? Like yeah. I'll be like just sitting for hours. It's like coaching yourself right. to do it yourself. But then in some situations I'll like have someone like where Sunday will come home and it'll be like after my four hours of just like being anxious about something <laughs> and then he'll just talk through it with me. Right. right? Exactly. So same, like pretty much same thing. Like I would just be in my like apartment so many things to do, I would just sit there and be like, oh my god, I have so much to do, right. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. And then I would sit there and then like my roommates would come back or like my friend would come back. Right. And then I would talk to them and they'd be like, yeah. okay, let's just do this now. Yeah, because they're like recognizing it. Yeah. Right? Like they like notice that your act your behavior is different. Because mm -hmm. like I feel like you are not anxious. Like you are not an anxious person. You're just like going through it. It's like something separate from you. Yeah. But I think when you're in it, you're just like, I'm crazy, mm -hmm. I can't handle anything. <laughs> I'm not equipped to do this. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Your just mind just takes right. over, and I think it's just like it's definitely like all in your head, and you don't know how to like you think you're trying to process it right, but at the same time you're just like overthinking everything, and yeah. just like literally saying the same things like okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this. Like I don't know what to do. I don't know how to start this. Yeah. And it, I think it's practice. Yeah. Of like recognizing it, and like what we were talking about earlier is like being aware of when you're going this like these anxious moments, um, you can like identify it and then instantly when you identify that it's like I'm being I'm anxious right now, like makes it just all kind of calm down a little bit because you're just like this is separate from me. This is not this is just like my mind getting worked up. I'm recognizing it, it definitely takes time. I think yeah. it definitely it's something that you don't notice like within a day, within right. a month, within yeah. even a couple months, even a year. Like it's something you have to like once you talk through it with someone, you yeah. realize like oh, I'm just overthinking it, it's really not that complicated, or it's not as hard as I'm imagine it, yeah. imagining it to be. I think being self-aware in general is a big part of it, yeah, right? Like if you're sure. just the kind of person that's just like gone with the flow, like I hate my life, I hate this, I hate this, but I'm just gonna keep doing it, then like it's gonna be hard for you to recognize it. You have to like be willing to notice like your behavior, be willing yep. to notice like, you know, just like call yourself out mm -hmm. and like not just take the easy route. Because exactly. <laughs> it's, and it's weird because it's like that's not easy. Like going through anxiety is not easy, but just like continuing to do it, I think some people feel like is just the easier way to, to right. go or something. I think like once you're in kind of like a comfortable state. Yeah, it's and, comfortable. Yeah. Right? It's comfortable and like you're just like, oh, I like if I, like for me, like when I would get anxious or something, I'd be like, I'm just gonna go get food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel better about exactly. myself. Exactly. Like that's your, that was your coping right. mechanism, like, right? I would just sit in bed and watch Netflix all day sometimes. Right. Or I would just like. And that felt good. Food. Yeah. And I'm like, right. okay, I don't have any responsibilities right now, even though I might actually have responsibilities. Right. But then but you'll, <laughs> or you'll just deal with it with like the moment you have to deal with exactly. it versus having to like prepare and make things easier mm -hmm. for yourself. Mm -hmm. and like do a better job. Right. What kinds of things triggered it for you? Um, definitely with in school work, obviously. Yeah. So if I had a paper due in like three weeks, I yeah. would literally wait till like the day before. My friends are saying like, oh, I worked on it. Like I got this much done. I'm like, oh my God, I haven't gotten anything done. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll have time tomorrow. Like I don't have class until like in the afternoon. So I'll just chill tonight, get yeah. some food, and, like, you know, chill out. Yeah, for me it's definitely work. And then I think it's just like balancing life, which I think like everyone Real anxious spell was like, what am I going to do this weekend? 
like because I felt like I had so many obligations like I should do this I should do this I need to deal with it myself because I think a lot of times we're like I don't want to put that burden on someone right. else and then I texted my friend and she was like tell me everything you need to do okay you don't have to do those things like if those things are like not gonna make you happy don't do it and you handle very hard things so don't think that you can't handle this it feels like so silly but it's not because it's it's what people go through right it's like once you get in that state it's so hard to even like believe in yourself like oh this. even if you've done it before you're like oh what if it doesn't end up as well as the last time or yeah. like what if i can't do it this time and yeah having someone else be like yes you can you're like yeah. okay now i think like it's like you're taking a step it's like okay right. like maybe i can't actually do it you should also practice yeah. like doing that on your own mm -hmm. and being able to tell yourself like this is just anxiety and I can do this, I can handle this. You gotta be <laughs> nice to yourself. Yeah, I think that's again one of the biggest things out of all of it is like being nice to yourself and recognizing like oh like I can do this, like I am capable enough yeah. to handle this situation. Right. And if there's a mistake, you learn from it. Right. You live and you learn. And call your friends out. Yeah. Like not in a mean <laughs> way, but like yeah. you know, you you kind of mentioned that like people notice like some differences mm -hmm. in your like like definitely behavior the closest to me because you care, right? right? Like I think a lot of times like oh I don't want to say anything because I don't want to hurt their feelings, but like by you not saying something, they could go down like this in long spiral. Right. Yeah. People closest to me, they were like, hey, like maybe you should you know like what's going on like what's like let's talk about it maybe yeah. you talk to someone else about it like or i'm here to talk about it with yeah you. and then i was like okay yeah why not let's talk about my feelings yeah it was just also a whole like it's really hard, hard thing to do. yeah we're not like told to talk about our feelings yeah just because i feel like it's kind of pushed down it's like you yeah know, your feelings are fine like you're okay you're okay like everything's gonna be okay everyone goes through it yes Everyone goes through it, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about it. This is normal. Right. Doesn't mean that like, oh, don't worry about it. No, you should just be more aware of it. And then we're talking about this because we want you to feel like you're not yeah, alone. Yeah, it's not, it's, I think it's something everyone goes through. Even in the littlest amount, everyone goes through some kind of anxiety or they have, they're anxious in certain situations, whether it be stressful situations or even like normal everyday situations. Yeah, I'm anxious when I'm in big groups and people are just like, but you, talk to people, you like plan big events and you talk on the camera. Someone like mentioned something about my videos and they're like, you know, if you, some of these topics are sensitive, people might be offended. I understand, but I really feel like there is no harm in talking about things. And we've been told for so long, like, you know, don't tell people that or let's just keep this between me yeah. and you. If you really feel like when more people know, more people can support you, and yeah, like more people might be talking shit about you, but you don't need those people. No. Th and those people are just like projecting something that they have in them that they're like... They're insecure about. Right. They're, they haven't dealt with themselves. Like I'm not like a professional. We're not professional. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. You, you, but you know how you feel. Right. Nobody, like a doctor's gonna ask you questions about how you feel, right? Mm -hmm. He can't tell how you feel. Mm -hmm. Only you know what you're feeling. You know like yourself the best. Right. And it's like, so then you gotta take the steps to like improve that or improve yourself. It's yeah. Like you recognizing that you're anxious in these kind of situations, like really specific situations. Like yeah. Like take yourself out of it. Like, or figure out like what you need to do to make the situation better. Okay. Like your feelings are valid. Like, yeah. Just because you feel a certain way about something and not everyone else feels that way doesn't mean you're like, right. your feelings are wrong. Yeah. I felt silly so many times about the things that I've gotten anxious about. And I think it's just like we're not talking about it and there's like a negative stigma about like anything mental health it's like just deal with it you know it's not a big deal oh that's like made up being more open will just like make everyone more i mean i don't know it might make people uncomfortable in the beginning but like that's because like they're not comfortable sharing their own feelings yeah. but then i think just in general if we're just more open mm -hmm. i don't know everyone can just like yeah just feel more true to themselves because like you know what's normal for you like you know how you feel like what your body feels what your mind feels like when you're like the happiest and like when it feels off it's uncomfortable yeah so just like release it and just like deal with it yeah it's like figure out the best way to cope with it or figure out the best way to just take a step back and like be like, okay, I'll come back to this later. Like, even if it's like, I'll walk or like yeah. getting food with friends or whatever yeah. the case is, talking to someone about it. Just take the step back, you know, and then it'll be okay. Yeah, <laughs> just take care of yourself. Yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah, dope. Biggest thing. Thank you, man. <laughs> of course. Thanks for coming. Thanks of for course. watching.
and we do this every single week. Yes. Goodbye.